Gaffer, another home match for us this weekend against Gillingham. We've got quite a tough test, a team that have, have strengthened in January like ourselves, so it should be a good encounter. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think um, we're, well, we're looking forward to it. I thought it was a good performance the other night. Um, and we've got to set a high tempo like we did then and, and we have in, in recent games, other than the Swindon game, of course. Um, but definitely it's uh, going to be a big battle. Was it a pleasing sign for you, the performance on Tuesday night? Because you were looking for for, a, for us to bounce back from the defeat against Swindon. So all the characteristics that we've shown in the past were there once again? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I think last Saturday was a blip because other than that, the last six, seven games, we've looked a lot stronger as a collective unit and um, we've played at a really high intensity uh, way of playing. Um, close people down quickly, Graft has been right at the top of the agenda and no one's letting us down. In recent weeks you spoke about growing confidence on the ball. Will Armstrong gets a goal on Tuesday, do you think that will have confidence in the world, world of good? Yeah, and I don't think he was low in confidence. You know, Luke's having another good season with us, um, right spearhead of the team and him and Jack Muldoon have worked incredibly hard um, as a duo and the lads have backed them up and uh, we just want more supply, continue to build on that, um, the deliveries from out wide and, and centrally feeding the ball through to them. Um, but we know that we've got very capable players of, of banging the, the ball in the back of the net. And the good thing about being home at home once again, I mean the supporters reaction on, on Tuesday night showed how, how much they believed in the performance and how it was a, it was a good solid point for us. But a chance to play in front of them again and hopefully get them right behind us for the first minute. That's right, you know, I think they're, um, they've are they been brilliant, you know, as a, as a presence behind us, um, especially in recent weeks, and that's probably because they're, they're looking at the team uh, displaying a lot of passion, you know, right across the, a new back four uh, from January um, through the midfield and, and play at wide players actually getting at full backs and, and taking the handbrake off basically as a team, closing down quickly, and they're seeing. What they want to see is fans, wholehearted commitment. Yeah, and probably uh, uh, something we need to worry about with, with the amount of games we do have is, is potentially picking up knocks and anything like that. Has anybody picked up a knock for Tuesday or has everybody come through with a clean bill of health? Well, it'll be touch and go uh, whether Alex Patterson's fit enough or not, but luckily you know, it was uh, x rayed and it's all given the all clear. Uh, but it's whether the swelling um, just uh, breaks down a little bit and he, he's able to play without pain. Um, but that, so that hopefully is good news. Other than that, there's no uh, further injuries to worry about, uh, which is only good news. And the thing with Pat Wise, I mean, he's a good player, but Danny Gant came in and did very well in, in Tuesday night as well, so he's going to have a, a bit of work to do to get back in the team. Well, that's right, but um, I, I think we've got better competition for places now than at any point in the season, which, which is really good, but everybody, as a result of that, needs to keep playing well to keep the place.